Justin, if you remember from a previous video, we took the Max and the Stampede out to the skate park, and I completely destroyed my C hub, and uh, you know, kind of jacked up my hub as well. So we are gonna replace that today. We got Traxxas part number is 8937. That's the that's the hub, and we have part number 8932. That's the C hub. Comes with a set of two. Uh, I opted to go with the stock replacements over an upgrade just because these things have lasted so so long and have taken so much abuse it's I mean I just can't see spending the crazy money for something that hasn't broken a lot but you know if I start breaking them more often then I'll upgrade but for as cheap as these are they were $6.99 at my local hobby shop I think they're $6 on the Traxxas website but I'm all about supporting my local hobby shop, and uh, you know, we're pretty nice people. So, Big Dog RC. Yeah, Big Dog RC. There, if you're ever in uh, Western Pennsylvania, Big Dog RC. They got some cool tracks, and me and Dan go there. Uh, I've been going there every Wednesday since the beginning of COVID. So, uh, I actually bought my Max there and get most of my parts there. It's a good place. Nice fun. Uh, Fun place to drive. That's a 2.5 millimeter suspension pin that uh, holds that in. Oh, I might have to take my rear wheel off just to get in there. That's okay. I'll do that. Not like it's a big deal. That's just a you know 17 millimeter. So let's get in there. Check out that pin. Again, it's a 2.5 2 millimeter. Um, we are going to have to take off that pin. Use my 1.5 millimeter MIP to push that through. There we go. Slide that off. Gets our axle out. That noise, if you're into the hobby, you know what that is. We're done charging a battery, but. ABC always be charging. ABC always be charging, man. We gotta keep all of our batteries charged. We got a whole bag full of them. We don't even bash that much, man. We 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 bash in the garage almost every night, but that's nothing. We can't get out and do real cool things except for once or twice a week. Because it's getting dark now. We used to be able to go out every night after work in the backyard and tear it up, but we're going to switch to a 2 millimeter to remove the uh, tow link. Alright, that gets our hub off. We're going to go ahead and open up this 89, 8932. C hub. They're not labeled, so I'm not sure which one's which right off the bat, but um, I, guess I should look at the old one. That doesn't look like it, but it could be. Oh, they are labeled. They're right here. L and R. So we need the L, obviously. that in backwards there. Alright, 
right, we're gonna switch back to our three millimeter. You don't wanna go all the way in with the power tool. You definitely wanna hand tighten the rest so that way you don't strip it out. That's the right one there. That goes up front. Oh, don't want to go too crazy. Got to make sure that will go through. And it does, so no big deal there. I actually have some replacement bearings for these, so I'm not going to reutilize these. But I am going to take them out and keep them as spares since I'll be throwing this hub away. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and open up. 8937, that's the hubs. See if they're marked somewhere. These are, see it says R. And that's L, so that's left. So we can, I gotta grab my extra bearings. I don't think I have an extra big bearing, so we're going to reuse that one. So it's for a wide kit. With this, or it has nothing to do with wide kit. That's for the steel CVDs. Traxxas. Honestly, this bearing doesn't feel bad. I think I'm going to go ahead and use that again. Bearing feels much better than the other one does, even. Alright, so we're going to pop that axle back in. Put axle on the hub. Put that there. And then what we can do, put that on three millimeter again. I'm not sure why it's stripping, but I'm not putting any force behind it anyway. Um, I'm going to need a new suspension pin, which I have extra of right here. This is the size I'm going to need because I lost the other one when I broke the hub. So the other one goes right down here. Stick that in. Tighten that bad boy up. Three millimeter again. But uh, I say tighten it up, but don't actually tighten it up. That you want to do with the. Uh, the hand one, not exactly what I just did is what you don't want to do. Don't, don't crank on it. Alright, I'm going to put the tow link back to the hub. Get the eyelet lined up. Because by the way, this is my first how-to video, so I, I haven't done one yet. I work on cars literally every night, but I fail all the time, so I don't. I didn't want to come out with a, a video, just be screwing up all the time. But figured I'd give it a go. Maybe it'll help somebody out.
This is a 2.5 millimeter. So now what we got to do, everything's back together. We're going to take and hand tighten everything. Just tight enough. Don't over tighten it. Now we can put the hub back on, insert the pin, easier said than done when it's rusty. Alright, now we can put our, we can put our wheels back on, have ourselves a truck again.